Hey, my name is Phil and in this video, I wanna show you how to create a stylized survey in High Level. Now, High Level has just launched some new features inside of their survey builder, which make it more brandable as you can change things like the color of the footer, also the text and text colors. Plus you get to choose if you want it to be a sticky footer for each steps in the survey, or if you want it a global survey footer for the entire experience. So what I'm gonna do is jump behind the screen and show you how to use it. Okay, so here we are inside of the dashboard. Now what you want to do is first come to the sub account, come to sites, then go to surveys and builder and it is going to take you to your surveys tab. Now to save some time, I have created a survey with three steps inside of it, but I haven't customized any of it just yet. And as you probably notice, once we load the builder, we've actually got this new blue bar that appears by default right at the bottom. And as you can see, I've got three slides right at the bottom. It's showing us that we have one of three slides if we were, for example, on the first one. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like, I'll go ahead and click on preview. And you can see here, we've got the slide at the bottom. I'm just gonna quickly add in an email address here, just so it'll let me go to the next step. So once you fill out the steps, you can go to the next one and you can see as you go along, it progresses and it's got this nice little automation as well. So we can go backward, we can go forward. It's all pretty cool. And that's with this new builder. So let's go ahead and play with the new styling. What you wanna do is click on style and options and just scroll down in the styles tab and you will see this new little section which is says footer new. Now it's probably just going to eventually be footer, but this is what you can expect to see right now. So the first option we have is stick to survey. And what that basically means is each step inside of the survey, if you want, you can add the footer to that. So every time you go through a new step, you're going to have the buttons right at the bottom of the survey. Or if you'd rather have it at the bottom of your entire page, you can just click on the stick to survey button, turn it off and it'll appear at the bottom. Now we do also have some options to change the background color of the footer so if you wanted to say make it black you can simply change it it's got all of the options here with the hexes so it's really easy to do we've also got your different fonts we've also got the size of your fonts plus we have the weight so if you'd rather it quite bold you can quickly change those without any hassle and we also have the option to change the footer height so if you wanted it to be larger for example you can easily do that of course everything is to match the type of branding that you have so if you have lots of large spaces and lots of large text you can play around with that there as well now you also have the ability to turn off the progress bar and just to know if you want the survey buttons to be at the bottom of the survey it'll default be off that's just because it's going to look funny on different devices so that's why they've left it out there so that's there if you want it and if we keep going down you've also got some different options for the bar at the bottom so if you like the steps option showing you what step you're at out of how many you can also choose the percentage bar as well. So it's saying zero right now, but once you actually go into it, it's going to change. And you can change in the colors. You can also change the border and everything like that too. So that's pretty cool. And for this next example with the buttons, I'm gonna come down and show you the different types of colors, okay? So we've already changed the background to black. Let's just say we wanna change it to a green. And you're like, hey, I don't know, I can't actually see the previous button. Well, if we come down, we can change the previous button down here. Let's just say we wanna change it to like a black and turn up the contrast. You can see there's the black button there. If you wanna change the text color, you can also change that if you wanted it to be um, transparent. So you can play around with it a lot. You can also choose if you only want text and you only want arrows. So there is plenty to do inside of here. You can also change the text of it. So if you wanted the full words, you could add in the full words and all that sort of good stuff as well. Now there is also the option for custom CSS if you are into the coding type of things. Plus you have the opportunity to add in a background and header image for the different surveys as well as of course the agency branding that you get by default. But it's a pretty cool feature. I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's just really nice to have. Um, I, of course, like to have things quite plain and boring, so I like lots of blacks and whites and simple text colors, but if we go ahead, click on save one more time, in fact, I may even turn on the stick to survey, I kind of like the look of that. Let's go ahead, click on save, and let's go preview it. This is how the survey looks, of course, you can change it how you want, and I've got things backwards, but it's still going to work, okay. 
So we've got our first step, second step, right? We've got our address website, third step, and we've got the green button. So pretty cool. It's a very simple modification that anyone can do. It's literally just colors, sizes, fonts, and where you actually want the footer to be. But it's such a great addition and it just makes your surveys that little bit more custom. And so that is how quick and easy it is to stylize your survey and go high level. Now you have the ability to change the footer colors, the sizing, also the fonts, as well as where you want the footer to be, which just makes it that much more personal, that much more brandable, and just that much better for your user. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.